Every ride has a story. Every person has a reason. We are the caretakers of automotive history in the making. For the love of the ride. Sizemore, and this is my 1955 Chevy Bel Air hardtop. As you can see, I got the back windows up, and I'm going to walk around the car. I love this car. This is my favorite car, and I've had two of them. How long have you had this one? I've had this one for four years. And this is the inside of the Bel Air. Original interior, been redone. What's the paint scheme? Black and white, pearl on the back, and black on the front underneath. Are those uh, original Craigers? And you got the old style Craigers on it. They're probably 30 years old. I'm walking around the back. Bumpers have all been re-chromed. They're like brand new. Daylight lens is original or did you have them redone? Then nothing was redone. It was all done like that. I put uh, new lenses inside. Yep. LEDs so they could be easier to see because the old style was tough to see. Yeah, the old bulbs weren't all that great. Inside the trunk is just natural, nothing really fancy. Have an old fire extinguisher back in the 50s to kind of go at the seam of the car. Has a spare tire, which most kids don't know what it is, a real spare tire. What rear end do you have in it? 
It's got a Camaro rear end under it. I think it's a 377 gear. Is it a transmission on the original transmission? Or transmission or is, is a 400 turbo. Opening up the other side. And in the back, you'll see a Sylvester the Cat, which is what we call the car because it's black and white. And up underneath the ceiling, as you can see, it's got the chrome because the Bel Air hardtops have the chrome up underneath. And walking around the car, like I said, this is my favorite car. This is my second one. It's a beautiful black and white 55 Chevy Bel Air with the old style Kragers. What size motor? Motor's a 350 Chevy. It's been bored out 30 over. Probably got about 285 horse. And then on the motor itself, what I've did to it is I made the battery box. As you can tell, it matches the headers. I was going to do chrome and as you can see the difference in between the headers and the battery box kind of blends together. So what I did is I polished up the radiator top and kept it as simple as possible to try to keep it original. Didn't want to over chrome it. But it shines very good when the sun's out. It's very clean inside and out for real. What, uh, what plans do you have in the future for it? To leave it the way it is. I don't want to do much else to it. So you've got it just the way you like it? And this yes. is how you love it. How many times a year do you get, do you get to take it out? I've had it out about 40 times this year. It does well. At the you shows. Drive it, you don't trailer it, right? Yes, I drive it everywhere and it does well, but we do it for the fun to meet people and it's such a good time. It gives us something to do on the weekends and we meet a lot of good people at the car shows and all the car guys and people have their cars. That's what we do this for. Are you affiliated with any clubs or anything? No. Nope. Never been asked and I really don't want to because we live so far out. But this is my 55 Chevy Bel Air hard top. This is my second one, and I've always liked the 55, and I just love this car. It's a good running car, runs up and down the road well, and it looks and sounds good.